Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm gonna share with you how I updated this little sad corner of my apartment and I hope you enjoy it, so let's get started. As you can see, this side of the wall is really cute. We have this really big California flag that I absolutely love and it's great because it's easily movable. Like you can just take down one of the edges and then we use this wall for our projector to watch TV and YouTube and stuff. And let me tell you, one of the great things about being an adult, I would say, is being able to watch your favorite YouTubers super large on a super large wall in your living room. So this side of the wall is set. It's cute, it's done, it's awesome. <laughs> the other side of the wall is about a three foot area that's just kind of awkward and it has a light switch in an odd spot so you can't really hang anything large on there. Um, so it's been a dilemma. I actually purchased this frame, or these frames with the intention of hanging them um, either one on top of the other or side by side in this tiny little area. Um, but as I kind of thought about it and saw them leaning against the wall over the weeks that they've been just hanging out there, I kind of realized that it was too small of a space to have such big art. So I scrapped that idea and I'm gonna use those frames somewhere else. When I'm hanging art, I tend to have kind of commitment issues <laughs> and it takes me a really long time to actually put things on the wall because I live in California, so when I put art on the wall, I put a nail on the wall, hang it, and then I also put command strips on the back of it so if there's an earthquake, it won't fall. So when I hang art, it feels like a really permanent thing for me, even though I could easily take it down, whatever, move it, change it. I don't because I'm lazy, so once it's on the wall, it's gonna stay there for a while. And I wanted to find a way to put art on this little wall in my apartment that I could easily change, maybe with the seasons or just whenever I got tired of looking at what was there. I thought about it for a really long time. I kind of looked around online for ways to make um, temporary frames or something. And the idea that I came up with was using these magnet boards. They're dry erase magnet boards. I got them on Amazon. They were really cheap. These ones that I got are 14 inches by 14 inches, but they also come in 12 by 12 inches. These are traditionally used for office spaces. You can buy little cork boards that are the same size and kind of use them on the wall um, for notes and you know stuff like that. But I wanted to use them a different way and I decided to use them as frames on my wall. So if you're gonna recreate this look, you'll need a square whiteboard, some large photo prints, tiny mighty magnets, scissors or paper cutter, and command strips. So the rest of this project is super easy. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is cut your photos to the size you want. Mine are about 10 inches by 10 inches. Next, you're gonna to wanna to attach your pictures to your boards using the tiny magnets. After that, you're going to put two sets of command strips on the back of the frame. And now you just need to figure out how you're gonna arrange your frames on the wall. Hey guys, okay, so this is the finished look. I just finished putting all the frames on the wall and I really like how they turned out. So now I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna style the little table underneath it. So I have this lamp that I picked up from a thrift store um, a long time ago. I shared it in one of the first YouTube videos that I made and I'll link that down below for you guys. So I really like having this here because since there's the switch here, I couldn't have the frame lower and that's why the frames are offset. So I think that having the white here kind of fills in the gap that otherwise would be right there. So I could have this lamp here. If I ever get like a big flower arrangement from someone or something, I could put that here too to just fill up the empty space. And then I have these books here that kind of tie in with the white of the lamp. And it's just a bowl that we throw our keys in or sunglasses or whatever. And yeah, I just like how that looks. I have a little camel here just because he's cute. And yeah, so this is the final look. I really love the transformation. I think that it was really fast and easy and I turned this otherwise boring spot in my apartment that just kind of collected junk into a functional little drop spot for my keys and something that I could change with the seasons with the artwork. 
And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. So I'm back home now from my vacation and I'm so excited to be making videos again. I missed my video upload on Monday last week when I was gone and I was really upset about it. I was planning on uploading a video while I was on vacation, but I was getting over a cold and my voice was really raspy and just generally bad sounding and I needed to do a voiceover for the video that I was planning and I thought it would just be more of a distraction more than anything to do a voiceover when my voice is sounding so bad. So I'm going to go ahead and upload that video next week with my healthy sounding voice and I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. Let me know if you try this at your home or dorm or wherever you are. I would love to see pictures of it on Instagram or Twitter so be sure to tag me in them if you end up trying it. And yeah, I hope you guys like this. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already and like this video. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.